everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Amy and this is a channel about cross stitch don't mind the light right here it'll disappear by the time this is over we're gonna try to do this quick um, I'm recording this on the same day as I recorded on a floss tube so don't mind that but we're gonna do a whip parade hopefully and hopefully I can do this without making too big of a mess um, we'll see <laughs> We'll see. I have everything here, so it should kind of move a little quick, but I don't know. Uh, so I promised this video a while back, actually in October, because I wanted to do a like one year of stitching. How much things I've started in one year of stitching. So it's been like a year and a month and a half-ish since I actually started cross-stitching because I started out doing the stamped kits first. Um, and the stamp kits will probably be last. But, you know, just to give you an idea of all the shit that I've amassed in that time. And I asked my husband if he wanted to do this video with me and he said no. <laughs> so, the first thing is, and I don't have a picture of this one. And if you want to know why, you can see the most recent floss tube before this video. So, this is the Linen and Threads 2020 sampler. I'm not worried about the pattern because this is a free char. All of the linen and thread stitch alongs are free. I think they've got a 2017, 18, 19, and 20 if I'm not mistaken. And I believe they'll be doing a 2021. I'm excited to see it um, because I was hoping to have this done for reasons we're not going to talk about. You know what? I'm just going to take it out. The whip parade involves showing you guys, right? So we're going to take it off the frame and show it to you guys because we're not going to work on this for a few weeks anyway. So, I'm excited to see what the 2021 looks like. I'm stitching this using a variegated thread from Artiste. I gotta come way back here because this is a huge fucker. And that's what it looks like up close. So, this is all one colorway. It's called Peacock Show. And I love the differences in between because, like, down here... I have this darker motif where it's all like blues, blacks, and greens, and then I've got these ones up here where it's all purple, and it looks so cool. So that is that. That's what that looks like. I no longer have a project bag for this. Well, I was just keeping it in a, um, a sheet protector, but... I'm going to leave that out because that now needs another one. So we're already three minutes in and we've only done one whip. The next thing is Shannon Christine Designs Trick or Treat Sampler. Amy and I decided to stitch this together, but I don't think she's... What is up with the light? I don't think she started hers yet, but I started mine because I'm slow. And that's what I've gotten on it. Just the top half border. And that is half. I'm stitching this on... The linen and threads is on a piece of 28 count even weave from Artiste. Uh, two over two. And this is on 14 count Be Stitch Me. This does not have a color name. Might have been... A lot of her Friday Night Fight Night ones don't have color names on them. I think more recently she started putting color names on them, but I'm not sure. Next we have Dracula's Confession from Lindy Stitches. Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. Colorado World and a couple of other people have decided they wanted to start this. And I have the tiniest... I don't know which way this goes. I think it goes this way. That's it. Because, yeah, I just couldn't get into it. I'm stitching this on 14 count tiramisu from Be Stitch Me as well. It's a gorgeous piece. I originally wanted to stitch Emily's house on it, and it didn't fit. And I think I'm having a hard time because it's 14 count. I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. But I'm going to stick with it because that's what I do. I don't like to put things so next thing we have is another Lindy Stitches, Emily's House, gorgeous. I've already told you guys my grievances about this, so I'm going to save that for another video, but this is where I'm at. 
this is a piece of silky something and it's coming out freaking gorgeous and that's what it looks like don't get me started on how dark these are it's stitch and be called for that's all i'm gonna say so there's that i'm loving the pattern though it's coming out gorgeous i wish i would i pulled it out more often because it really is a lot of fun to stitch on it um the next thing is a stamped kit that my mom actually started that I told her I would finish for her because she just ultimately did not like cross stitching. So this is a Joy Sunday kit with a giraffe on it and she started it and only did the top corner of the ear here. Um, this was her first time stitching and so she just had a hard time grasping it and I told her that I would do it and I have not done anything else to it but that's okay because I'll get to it I will I swear so there's that I have everything here in a bin so if I'm rolling out of frame that is why let me pull a couple out so the next thing is something let me Barbara Anna's I don't know if I actually started this or not Spellville this is Part three is the complete pattern, um, but this was a stitch along like early October, sometime before Halloween. I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count Joblin in the color Dusty Pink by Be Stitch Me, and that's all I have done. Part of the scissors. So the thing that I like about her, Jack Skellington Needle Minder. The thing that I like about these Barbara Annas is that they're all going to match. So I think I have two now that have like this key type. I'm just, I didn't start them on the same type of fabric. And so I hope that they're all the same size because they're going to look great next to each other. So I have that. Um, this is an OG. And when I say OG, I mean OG. This is the first stamped piece that I started obviously I haven't finished it because it's still a whip but that's okay and this one was just called scenery one there's a whole series of them on Aliexpress I have no idea if they're still available or not and this one's a hot mess because I had it in my car laying on the floor in the back seat and my kids felt something on it and so it's a little wonky here in the center and I've got pretty much almost all of this bottom done there's a couple of small gaps like here and there right here but the whole bottom's done and I felt like I was further along than I was when I pulled it out last and the problem that I'm having with this is that it's 11 count so you need three strands and I'm not digging that and so it's really difficult to stitch because the floss is so thick and you have to push it through but if you I started it on two strands and it just did not have great coverage at all and so I had to do it with three strands and I'm not enjoying it the next one is another joy Sunday kit and then a stamped piece called Taurus I started this because I thought it was going to be a quick finish and I still haven't finished it that's what it looks like this is 14 count so it's just two strands but I've got a lot of the bowl done here well a lot of this here on the it's actually the right side but and then I moved up here into her crown because I was getting tired of doing this I've got some of the stitching done here inside the harp and some of the bull down here and yeah I'm liking it I love the joy Sunday kiss because I really enjoy the Chinese gloss but and I stitch all of these in hand um, it just cross stitch takes a long time and that's all there is to it so there's that um, this piece, don't get the pitchforks after me, but this piece, I had no idea, was a um, stolen work of art until months afterwards, which is why I stopped showing it on the channel. Um, but this is, it's a Joy Sunday kit, but they stole it from Dimensions. This is a smaller portion of a Dimensions chart. I don't know exactly what it's called, but this portion of it was called Frederick the Great, I think, if I'm not mistaken. 
and so I stopped showing it on here. I've worked on it off and off in between, and I just haven't finished it because that's why we have all these whips, right? But I've got a lot done. You can see all the stuff I have done. That purple and the cat's not done. It's just dark. So I have some stuff done up here, um, some of the books, and then I've got a lot of stuff done down here and down here. And I love working on it. It's coming out really great, except it just takes a long time. It's really cute. I will be excited when it is finished, but more so recently because a lot of the stuff I'm showing, I want to show you guys in the floss tube. And if I'm working on this, I'm not comfortable showing it every week because this is a stolen piece of work. And so, um, Joy Sunday, if you didn't know, there's several Joy Sunday stores on... Uh, AliExpress and not all of them are ran by the same people so I stopped ordering from that store this is Electra from Nor Corbett it's part of her Bewitching, Bewitching Pixies and that's all I have <laughs> she's got a lot of dress back here so that's where I started in the black on the bottom so when I pick it up again I'm pretty close to the orange where I could start doing like some fun stuff but that's all I have here and I'm working this on a piece of 16 count Ada from some people walking by uh, Kathy Davidson at Dying for Cross Stitch I got this off stash unloading it's really hard to get um, her fabrics though just the way that her her group is set up. It is what it is. That's okay. Um, I'm working on almost drop that. I have, let me see if I have a photo. Yes. Me. That glare death by cross stitch. It looks like this. Now this does have two alphabets in it, but there are some substitutions in the Death for Cross Stitch group that I will probably be taking advantage of if and when I ever get there. So there's that, only on the first page. And I'm stitching this on a piece of fabric that I dyed myself. And I'm stitching it in this DMC 53 because I thought it would be a good idea. And I'm using I wrote it down. Yay! 28 count even weight. And I'm doing this 10th stitch. So it's going to be a little bit smaller. And it's super freaking dark red. It looks way brighter on camera, but it's pretty dark. It's like, no, it's dark. <laughs> and this is how tiny it is. I think this is a, uh, the length of a page right here. So it's one page. I don't think I'm all the way down. This is about halfway on the page. And I'm doing two over one, no, no, two, two over one tent. And so it's really took me some brain work and I've put it away since last semester, last year maybe, because it was a really big project for me to start. And I think now if I pick it up again, it'll be a breeze, but at the time it was a lot. Let me just get the rest of these out. And I do have estimates of when I started all of this written down in my Google Doc that I keep from my reference. Um, I just, I'm not going to tell you guys that right now because it's too much work to go through and have to search for it. So the next thing I have, I don't have a picture of, but it's a Monopoly game board. I got this from Stephen Shaw on uh, Etsy and he does still he is still on Etsy the last time I checked it's called Stitch Pad UK P-A-D UK last I checked he still had it up and this is where I'm at this moves really quickly when I decide to do it um, my problem was that I started it in hand thinking that I could keep doing it in hand and I didn't until I decided to put it on a frame um and I'm using a lot of black 
and I get bored with it. And so also the last time I did it, I messed this one up, I had to do it again. It's not even a lot of stitching. If I just put the time in, this would freaking be done. And I think I'm going to probably say that about all of the projects. Most of these, all of these are in project bags I made or in a sheet protector or the plastic uh, that they came in, that the Joy Sunday bags came in. And let me see if I can, hold on. We're going to try this. Don't mind my vacuum cleaner. Um, that sun though is really getting to me. Okay. Next thing. This is a more recent start this year. Sometime is pandemic by long dog. I love the pattern. Just haven't dedicated the time to work on it because I really enjoy these flower pots for some reason. I enjoy stitching them. This I'm stitching on. Oh, the monopoly is just 14 count blue Ada that I ordered from everything cross stitch. Um, this one I'm stitching on a giant piece. I ordered a half yard of Ice Queen by Be Stitch Me. This is 32 count Joblin, and I'm doing this two over two, and I'm really liking it, which is weird given the tiny start that I had on it. I should really should pull this out more, and I'm doing it in DMC 115. Which looks like that. Sorry for the glare. Not the glare, but the light streams. When I downloaded Pandemic, it was a free pattern. They released it free for a week. This is what I have. Can you see that? There we go. That's all I have on there. So far, you can't even make out any of the variegation on it. So I'm starting to worry that it's not going to show up. But I think it will. Um, also, my platform 9 and 3 quarters. Uh... What is that called? Needle minder. I'm going to have to fold this a different way because it's not. There we go. So, yeah, there's that. I'm really liking the way it was going so far. I really like doing two over two on the 28 and 32 count. It's just enjoyable to me to stitch that. And then... This was a mania piece, if I'm not mistaken. Barbara Anna's Let It Snow. All of my Barbara Anna designs that I'm going to show here are from Creative Poppy. Except for the Nitka Moscow one that I'll show later. So these are all from Creative Poppy. This one's called Let It Snow. This is the one I was telling you about with the key. And this is how much I have done on that. I'm stitching this on... 18 count Artiste Zweigart Linen in Natural Star, I think. I originally started Harry Potter on here and then didn't like it. I hated it. So I scrapped it, started Harry Potter over, and then started this on it. And I'm liking this way better on this than the Harry Potter one. That's my start on that. All of these are kitted up in DMC. Then I have something in my eye. I have Gwen, which is another pixie from Nora Corbett. She's stitched on... 14 count Ada from Be Stitch Me. There is no colorway. Probably got it on a Friday night fight night. And that's where I'm at with her. Bottom of her dress and her foot right here. That's where I'm at on there. Because again, lots of black on the bottom. There's that. I'm trying not to make this video be an hour and a half. And so if I'm rushing, that's why. Next is a Dimensions kit that I started called Fall Fairy. There is a Spring Fairy. It's not called Spring Fairy. I think it's called Woodland Enchantress. I'm not sure. There's another fairy called that's similar to this that's not the same thing. The other one has more green in it. So I started this, again, a Mania piece. And I started it in the Called For fabric. Didn't get very far, but I'm really enjoying the stitch because I really like 
the floss that comes with it and that's all I've gotten I started in the top corner and I'm enjoying the stitch um, it's coming out very nice I just haven't pulled it out but it is coming out very very nice the stitches are laying down perfectly the fabrics nice and smooth it's just the Ada that's in the kit and their floss is gorgeous gorgeous then we have this was another mania piece Prairie Schoolers Harvest Witch. This is the Harvest Time Sampler, and I just called this Harvest Witch. So I started that. I should have started one of the other ones because I lost mojo on this pattern right away. I actually should have started this one because it's repetitive. This is all I got. I'm doing this on a piece of 18 count Ada that I dyed myself in some very funky colors. I used Rip Powder Dye. And I just, yeah. So that's all I got. I mean, it looks cute. Love the colors of the pumpkins. It's going to look great if and when, but there's so many pumpkins. So many. And then more mania pieces. I started Oh no. Letter L. I have a letter L and a letter E from my daughters. And I started this one. This was another mania piece. I already messed up. And I was a little discouraged. I was thinking of fogging it out and starting it over. But at the time, hickory sticks from Classic Color Works was hard to come by. And that's what the outline of the letter is stitched in. I'm short a row here. And so, honestly, now looking at it, I'm just going to leave it because that's a lot of stitching. And I love classic color work so much. It's coming out so nice. I'm just going to have to play with it to make it right. So my L is going to be all thinner, one row thinner than it's supposed to be. But it's still nice. I think this is a piece of Crafty Kitten uh, fabric that I got in the one time I ordered from them. I can't find the thing have all the beads I have all the beads I do have the letter E as well but I haven't started that one yet I don't know what this is I don't know what I did with the tag or the, the little bag but I think it's a piece of 28 count Lugana why would I get rid of the bag I don't know. I don't know what I did with the pa the thing, but I know this is from Crafty Kitten. I don't order from her. I've only ordered from her once. And I don't plan on ordering from her again. Just putting that out there. Okay, that's my first bin. So the next bin, I just showed this in a whip and chat. This is... Winchester Mystery House. And did somebody just call me? No. I am stitching this on blue 18 count Ada from Be Stitch Me. It's just called blue. I don't know if it's permanent line or not, but it's beautiful. Love it. I mean, not very nice too. I'm very excited to see how this is going to turn out. This is by Debbie Patrick, the chart, and it's hard. It's quite hard. So there's that. Um also have so these project bags now this is from Erica D house can't remember the name of her, her Etsy shop and this is from stitch toolbox that uh, all the other ones that you saw earlier I made so this is kitchen mommy's temperature tree and this is where I'm at I hope to finish this by the year's end. I'm up in June, but I can do a month and a day. And so I don't see why I won't finish it. I say that. Are those lines moving closer to me? Ugh, I swear. Okay. Uh, next thing is this one I made. 
project bag. This one looks like crap because I was learning to sew at the same time. And this is Jack O' Lantern Silhouette from Charting Creations. I got this from Handed by Rolanda on her Etsy at the time that I ordered all of this other stuff. So the floss is also from her and so is the Ada. This is 18 count Ada from her as well. And that's where I've gotten. And the floss is also from her. If you can see the variegation, you can see it much better. Let me get some of that light, see if that works. There we go. See that? Maybe. It's a fun pattern. I just, for some reason, have a really hard time focusing on it. And I think it's because it's the 18 count. This just says color 62 or G2. I can't quite tell. And then, this is also from Erica D. House. This, is this a star? Oh, I think it might be. 25 count Lugana. Uh, Heaven's Window. Mini Heaven's Window from Heaven and Earth Designs. One day, when this is done, it'll go to my mama. And I'm stitching this over one tent. I don't know what this is going to look like because it's on 25 count so I'm really nervous about it. That's where I'm at. Bottom corner. So it's going to be rocks and cactus. Cacti. I didn't search this so it's falling apart a bit. I want to pull that out again because I'm curious about the two over one tent. Then we have, this is another Hade. I do not have the photo, but I will put one up for you right here. So you can see what it is. This one's Janessa. I think this was the first one I started. It's a bag made by me that barely fits the Q-snap. Just shove it in here. That's where I've gotten on her. It's a fun stitch. Two over one tent and 28 count even weave. It's coming out nice, but I'm not enjoying the color variation of it. So I don't know what this one's going to look like, um, which is why I haven't pulled it out much. And then plus, I hate keeping my pattern keeper charged. And then my tablet charged for a pattern keeper. And then I have to um, have some patterns on my phone and some patterns on my tablet. Big mistake. I don't know. Then I have Magic Study. Also, Heaven and Earth by Rose Khan. I'm stitching this on. What am I stitching this on? I don't know. I think this is 28 count Lugana, but this one's Magic Guide. I'm not sure what the difference is between Magic Guide and non Magic Guide. Hold on, because my needle fell out. But it is 28 count two over one tent. That's where I've gotten. You can see all that confetti. I got quite a good start on this. So I will work on this again. Obviously it's the whole intention of all of these is to work on them. But you know, it's a lot of haze, huh? Then, and that's not even my kitted up stuff. That'll be another video. Then I've got um, Curious Mermaid by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And I showed this also recently, I think in my last week's floss tube. There we have it. Boom. This is a fun stitch. I'm stitching this on Joblin, which again, I'm loving Joblin. And Joblin's expensive, which sucks. But I think I want to buy more Joblin. This is Lichen from Crafty Kitten, 28 count Joblin. Loving Joblin. I don't think I can say that enough. There's some clay in here from my daughters. Then I have 
Harry Potter book covers by Fox and Teacup Designs. I'm going to put, let me, that's the pattern. So you can see where I ended there. I just showed this in my floss tube as well because I just did all of this the other day. So that's what it looks like. Or that's where I'm at. That's a whip. 28 count even. We have two over two. Love it. And then I've got a couple more. Um, that went by pretty quick because we're only at 30 minutes. Then, oh, okay, hold on. Let me do, oh, my nose is itching. I'll do that one next, but this one. So I've got Chinese dragons. This one just says classical cross stitch. And I, this is obviously from AliExpress. So um, there's a store on AliExpress called the Zozak Official Store. And that is where I got all of these um, silk flosses from. You can just see the shine off of them. They're very silky. Um, these remind me a lot of the um, satin, uh, artiste satin. I don't know if the, yeah, the DMC satin's the same way. To me, the satin floss, what everybody calls the satin floss, should be labeled the silk floss, and the silk floss should be labeled the satin floss. I've got several dinky dyes and several uh, hand dye by Rolandas that are labeled as silk, but they don't feel silky to me. They just feel like softer floss. That's all. You can see the sheen on these. Like, look at that. Just super shiny. But this is nine count is what it says. I don't know why. So you do have to use three strands and it's kind of hard because it, I don't know why. I don't know why I did that to myself. Now I would never buy something like this. Um, but I started with a black because all this purple is black. And so I thought I'm going to do as much of the boring part as I can, but the stitches look a freaking amazing. And what I think is that with the black, when I go in to do the other stitches, I might do them two strands because it's just so thick. I don't know, but the stitches are laying down so beautiful. Like, look at how crisp those lines are, except for right here where I messed up. But they look so nice on the... Can you see the stitches in the sun? Maybe if I can get the damn angle right. To me, they look amazing. And um, it's fun. But nine count, three strands is a bitch. So that's what keeps me from working on this on a regular basis is the three strands. Um, ugh, my face is so itchy. Where's the bag? Oh, and then this comes in a stupid one, but I don't have a bag for this. But surprisingly, hasn't fell apart yet so there's that and then I, this might this might be the last one so this is another one of the illegal ones that at the time had no idea it was illegal which is why I don't show it oh shoot where did this go this went into heaven's window which is in what bag? It may be that one. Um, which is why I don't show it because it's illegal. By illegal, I mean this image was stolen and recharted for another company's use. We're not done. <laughs> I, just, I found some more projects on the floor for another company's use. And which is why I've never shown it. I didn't know until after I had the item in my possession. And it was right around the time that it arrived to me that I was going to film a... Um, when this one came, I actually do believe that I did record the um, unboxing. And then I had to redo it because I didn't want to show this one in there. So this is called 
a quiet night from Joy Sunday, but this is actually a, I think it's a Dimensions kit called Victorian Charm. Um, Handwork Maniac actually, when I first started getting into floss tubes, she was working on this. She's already completed it by now, but she was working on this. And at, again, at the time, she's the one that I first saw had this. And which is why I've never showed it. But because I have it, I still chose to work on it. If I ever come across the real Dimensions kit, I will probably purchase it just to have the real one to make myself feel better about having the illegal one even though I wouldn't plan on stitching it anytime soon. Is that dumb? I don't know. And so this is where I've gotten on it. I It's a stamped piece. I've done all the blue on the bottom and for some reason this one has a border all around it that goes up. And at the point that I stopped, I haven't decided if I'm actually going to stitch that border or not. Or if I'm just going to leave it. Because I don't think I need to stitch it with the way that it is. I don't know, maybe. But so far it seems detailed enough that it's still going to look okay, which is usually a problem with kits like this. And then I got bored of doing the bottom, so I came and did the top. Now, if you know this kit, you know that it's originally done on a piece of navy blue Ada. So none of this background is actually stitched in the real piece. So, you know, that's one of the negatives. And I think that's one of the reasons why, because when I found out, I just knew that it was part of that. And I thought like, oh, she's stitching hers on blue Ada, didn't think about it again. So then when I started stitching it, I was thinking like, man, that sky, like that's, no. So then when I looked into it, realized that it was actually stitched on a piece of the navy blue Ada and um, not actually stitched like that. And so I think I'd actually prefer to stitch the real one versus that one, but it is what it is, you know. So next, we're down to the last couple. We have... A Joan Elliott. I'm going to loosen this a little bit because it's been here for a while. This is a Wizard's View by Joan Elliott. And I'm loving the stitch on this. I'm stitching this on a piece of 16 count Ada from Be Stitch Me called Nova. But this was the February fabric of the month. Which she actually has that marked. I've noticed in a lot of the fabrics of the month they're not marked. Um, and this, I'm going to actually have to put this away because it's getting pretty bent up. In here I'm going to show you guys the real picture really quick this is what it looks like it's kind of dark on here I don't know why they let it be so dark but it's beautiful and I feel like my fabric matches but this is actually a piece of pole stitches fabric but I didn't want to pay international shipping so that's that right there so I'm gonna put that back on my shelf because I don't want that to get messed up so there's that then I have I don't know what this one is but I think it's a haid Oh yeah, of course it is, even though I didn't get very far. <laughs> so this is 28 count, 2 over 1 tenth, and my stitching is so horrendous on here. My tension is all screwed up. This is, let's see if I have a photo. I just, oh yeah, Once Upon a Fairy Tale. So I need to get back to it. I started up here where the castle is. Up here. So this is beautiful. I know somebody on Instagram that I follow is working on this. And she's like, she's working on the diagonal. And she's all the way down to this dragon, I think, coming this way. And it's a freaking amazing. But of course, because I have cross-stitch ADD, this is where I'm at. And my tension's all screwed up. So Amy was asking about it being wavy. This one's totally coming out like that. But I think it's because of how tight I'm pulling the fabric. That it's pulling the stitches in a really stupid way. So plus I have it on a stupid scroll um, 
Q-snap frame, and I think I'm going to remove it and put it on a scroll and work on it like that because I think it would just be better or maybe even in hand. I don't know. But you can even see like how tight I had it where it's pulling like it's crooked. And that's my Keanu needle minder. So there's that. Loving this too. I need to make smaller project bags for these because I have these in big old giant freaking bags here which would be better as grocery bags especially this one I got this one I used to do direct sales this is a company that sells planning supplies and um do I have one here oh yeah these like traveler's notebook type of things this is one of them and when I first started my youtube channel I have videos of this kind of thing but that's I got that from them then the last thing that I'm also gonna take off the frame so this project was a lot of firsts I'm sorry for the glare I do not have a completed piece of this because everybody's is different and I thought the light was going to go away and it's getting worse everybody's is different and I stopped because I don't know why Um, this is from Cunning Cross Stitch, the letters from Hogwarts Stitch Along. That's all I've gotten. I did not get much done at all on this. I don't, this is a lot of firsts for me. This is a piece of Picture This Plus Earth and Ada in 16 count. Again, I'm not a big fan of Picture This Plus. You guys know this. I just don't like how their fabric is. There's something about it. Um... And I think that's why I don't like stitching on it. I'm not sure. Um, and the Q-snap, I just, I think I'm going to iron this and see what's up because my stitches are all goofy. Um, I messed up doing the swirls here because there's supposed to be a wand that goes across them in the middle. And I ended up doing all of the swirls. So now I'm not going to do the wand, which is fine. I think it'll still look okay. And I started filling in chapter one and then just didn't get very far on it. So again, I think I'm going to put this in a scroll frame. So I cannot lose my needle minder. I need to put some stronger magnets on this. I'm just going to put this back over here and worry about that later. So that's what that looks like. But I'm going to iron this. Next time I work on it, I haven't finished the castle. I don't know why I lost my mojo on this. I honestly think it was the overwhelming amount of options that you could do for the pattern. Um, let me show you guys the chart really quickly. And then I have to go pick up my Walmart grocery order. I'm keeping this in a um, diamond art clip bag that my dogs keep rubbing on and <laughs> needs to be washed because it is disgusting. Let me get the floss out of here. Okay, so I have a really hard time keeping this chart together because of all the options that I have everything all separate. And I don't know why. Like, it's so confusing. Everything's all mixed up. So here's part of it. I have it separated. I don't know why, so I'm just going to keep it separated. And then here's the rest of it. It's a lot. So I am I changed my middle piece. And I'm doing it to be this. From Samantha White. The she charted. Uh... The World in Stitches. I think you can find this in the Facebook group. So that's the copy of the crest that I'm doing, which isn't Stuart's copy, which I don't have here. And then, because I was really ambitious last November, um, and I know it was November because it was during Renaissance Fair here, I made this project book. Which came out like freaking crap because I did not know how to use bias tape at all in the least. And these, 
I've learned now my stitches look nice now compared to this but I did had a really hard time with the bottom bobbin and the inside of these bitches is like this but they're not as tight as I would like them to be and they're all fucking crooked it's like I said lots of firsts I'm afraid to open it all the way because I don't want them to fall out but this was so I've since learned vinyl comes in gauges and I can't remember what gauge this vinyl was, but that is the last time that I will use that type of vinyl because it was a bitch. Um, I have since then bought some different types of vinyl to sew so I can see what's going to work best for me. But yeah, you guys, that's it. Um, that is what all of, I'm trying to put some of these back, I'm sorry. That is what all of my projects currently look like. That's probably, I think I'm going to call this video the shortest whip parade that you will ever see. Because usually whip parades are quite extensive. I'm putting my, I made these Q-snaps by the way. Um, Crafty Jamie, Crafting Gaming Jamie has a video on how to make Q-snaps and that's what I did. The only thing is that the three quarter pipe works, but I would, I want to try a half inch because you can't put a lot of fabric in here um, because the pipe is so big because it's smaller than, um, it's wider than like normal Q-snap. So I don't know. It is what it is. And I made these awkward sizes because I thought I would like them and they're just too big and heavy and then this size end up being like 8 by 8 9 by 9 something it's just an awkward size to work with I wanted to take off this one as well this is a hot mess you guys also don't buy these everybody swears buy them don't buy them they suck so that is it, you guys. That's all my whips, as far as I know. Oh, except for Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, because that's in my car. So, I'll put a picture here. I'll take a picture of it, and I'm going to put a picture here, because I'm not going to go and get it. And when I come back, why do I have a magnet here? I don't know. When I come back, it's going to be a little bit darker. So, here's that piece again, though. Isn't it beautiful? This was fabric of the month. That month. And I don't, right now I'm not in, I'm only in nest egg fabric of the month because um, I have a lot of fabric. The cancel may be stitch me one a while back. And then I um, canceled Victoria Motto because I don't like their customer service currently. It is what it is. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. <laughs> I hope that's it. So yeah, I'll... Um, make sure that I put the photo of what's it called here so you guys can see that and I hope you enjoyed my whip parade I hope it wasn't too rushed and I hope I gave you all of the information um, all of the floss everything's pretty much as charted uh, I think oh no I forgot a whip see I've got one more whip all of the floss, everything is as charted, as far as I can recall. Um, for the most part, there's no significant things. And then, like, when I work on that project, I will um, give you guys the details in my floss tube, because I feel like I have more time to do it in those. And then, um, if you see a chart and you think it looks different, just comment below and I'll pull it out and check for you guys so the next last whip hopefully is do 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 Barbara designs this is the one from Nitka Moscow I have three of them from Nitka Moscow I think there's only four kits right now so I have three of the four um this is Miss Scissors and everything called for it's a kit everything that came with it why are my needles always all wonky that's what I have of her She's a lot of stitches. This is 32 count Belfast and I'm really liking it. Um, there's lots of different linen and I think with linen, the more the nicer ones are 
going to be your best bet. Do not get the cheap linen from Hobby Lobby. And I don't suggest 28 count linen. I highly suggest a 32 count linen because the weave is already tighter as it is. And linen's already a little wonky. That's just my personal opinion on that. <laughs> I think that's really it, you guys. I don't think I have anything else. I don't have any whips in there. Um, and then these are kitted up things that I will share in my next video. Yep. That one is kitted up things, and then these two are linen, and then these are beaded cross stitches. So, apparently I'm not done, because I haven't, I didn't show you guys any of my beaded shit. So, that. This is my Harry Potter beaded cross stitch from AliExpress, and it looks like that. It doesn't look like much, but it's the car. I'll show you guys the picture right now when I pull the box out. And keep in mind that I'm not showing my crochet whips in this video. So this is what that looks like. It's very pixelated. I really lost my juice for this piece. Oh, I don't know why. I just... Other things come up. I don't know if it actually looks this awful. Um... I don't know, or if that's just a printed picture, I'm not sure. There's extra beads in here also. And it's not the seed beads either, it's the plastic pearl beads, which is the bigger ones. I was super excited when I got it and then just haven't anymore. Then I also have this Fairy Tales of the East peacock beaded cross stitch. I did put a couple of beads on this recently, not much. Um, this is where I'm at with this one. So I've got all this bottom part done, and then I've got some of the brown done up here. My problem with this is that first I have to use this long ass fucking beading needle because this is actually using the seed beads, which is the glass beads, the smaller, prettier beads. and nothing no needles work with these so I had to get this giant beading needle and I waste so much thread and then um I don't like the fabric that this came on it's god awful and with the tension to hold the beads in I'm making it all wrinkly on the sides and I don't know how that's gonna frame so I decided to come up here and start doing it. I'm trying to keep my tension a little bit more loose. And I just, I don't know. We'll see how it comes out one day when I finish it. Um, Laura is also doing it from Diamond Painting and Stitching. Well, now she's just stitching with Laura. But, and hers, I don't, she's never complained about it. So maybe it's just me. And then I also have this. He sits on my desk. But I have to do them during the day because for some reason I can't see this linen. It's a little ghost from Praiseworthy Stitches that Amy Sprinklestein Stitches got me a while back. And it's called Cebu and it's a cute little scissor fob kit. But I think it's going to be a keychain. Because <laughs> I don't like scissor fobs. But yeah. I think that's really it, you guys. My husband's yelling at me to go because I need to go pick up my grocery order. And he's got to go help our daughter-in-law move a TV. But yeah, I think that's all my whips for real this time. And if not, well, oops. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that I was not too all over the place in this. I'm going to try to edit that last part together because I didn't show you guys my beaded stuff. So I'm going to try to edit it in a way that is a little bit nicer and not too all over the place. So yeah. All right, you guys. I got to go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.